Hello dear ones, it's Alice. Well, I found out something pretty unbelievable from Spirit. And I ask you to use your discretion in listening about it. Uh, if it doesn't feel right to you, then, then just set it aside. Uh, but if it feels right, then maybe it will be helpful to you. And it goes like this. As you all know, I'm Claire, Claire Audient. And um, I've been hearing for some years now, I've been hearing on the astral plane men um, composing scripts. Now, composing scripts like in their minds and directing um, other people to, to say certain things on the astral plane. Uh, like a long running scripts to do with with soul wounding, with soul wounding uh, stories that are characteristic of those men, okay? So um, there's one thing that I'd like to explain before we go any farther with this, and that is that on the astral plane, we actually uh, make a, like a blueprint of the reality that we want to create on the physical plane. Now, for many long eons, it's been the case that the astral plane has been the land of dreams. And by this I mean that we have been unconsciously creating our 3D reality on the 4D astral plane. Okay, And one of the things that, that has gone awry with this creation of reality in the astral realm is that we humans have seeded that means given up our power to other people. Okay, sometimes it takes uh, the form of a group and a group leader, and in some cases they're like gigantic groups. They're um, like, for instance, the United States of America with a president, right? Or that's a very large group, right? And many, many more religious groups, political groups. Um, uh, affiliations with with various associations and then we have the family groups and and like that all different kinds of friend groups of friends meetup.com you know all kinds of groups and and very often in these groups because we're in the Atlantean age there's one leader might be democratically elected or whatever who is in charge of the astral dream of that group. Okay, so taking it on down to a family situation, lots of times the person that does the dreaming is the man, the husband, okay? And, and he directs the action on the astral plane of the wife and the children. So, so when I hear these, these um, scripts playing out, I'm, I'm, I'm actually astounded. <laughs> I hear them playing out in different groups day after day, and, and I just didn't know what to think of it. You know, at first I thought, these people, these, these people that are running the scripts, they must be megalomaniacs. Is that how you say it? They must be people who have, that are just uh, crazy with the desire for power. <laughs> <laughs> and so this took a long time, you know, just in years, really. And today I had uh, an illumination uh, because I had a chance to compare some script that was running today with the scripts that had run in the, in the past years, over a decade. And finally, it all added up, you know, Spirit explained. <laughs> So I'm going to try and explain it to you, too, so that it may be of use to you, in ca especially in case you're Claire and you've been hearing this stuff, right? It seems that these people, mainly men, who, who are leading the subconscious scripts on the astral plane, they, they believe that, that it's expected of them. Unconsciously, they believe that, and all this is taking place on a very deep subconscious level, okay, and slowly rising into the light, 
slowly rising up into the incoming light. And when people become aware of the scripts, they become pretty upset about it until they begin to understand the deftness of the hand of God. The hand of God is in all of this work, all of this great awakening and this ascension of humankind. The hand of God has arranged help for us in the form of angels, benevolent beings of light, and many others who are helping all humankind resume their place of magnificent soul awareness okay, in, the, in, the, in the fastest possible way. And I have to tell you that in the last two years, the change has been incredible, miraculous, amazing, the amazing uh, infolding of all of the realities that have been spinning out over all this time, the amazing transformation of the dense energies. It's just, it's just, it's miraculous. It's, it's, uh, it's just, it's just a joy to behold because there is no explanation of anything this wonderful. It's kind of like when a flower opens, you know, you see a tiny little green bud and you go, oh wow, maybe a flower will, will bloom. And after a while, the flower opens and the beauty of that flower far surpasses your greatest expectations. And so it is today. So it is today. So, now, to get back to these scripts, okay, um, I think the first thing is to understand that it's, it's nobody's fault that these scripts are running and creating on, because of the unconsciousness of the, of the, of the, like the blueprints that we're creating. They're creating a very unconscious reality on the physical realm. And this, this was no, um, this was no fault of humankind because as the light decreased on Earth and in this galaxy, and in fact in the universe, we were, our DNA was unable to remain completely open. And so we became more and more operating in an unconscious way. And that unconsciousness, in, in many ways, in the physical body, preserved our lives and kept us, kept our souls on, on earth. You know, it was, it, was a, it was a good thing. But in terms of manifestation and co-creation with the divine, it wasn't, it wasn't so terrific. But the reality that the unconscious mind creates is, is far from uh, the path of, of, of light, from the will of God and the mind of God and the heart of God. Our hearts, our minds, our wills must also be actively, um, consciously engaged in the process of co-creation in order for that, that will of God to be manifest on earth. Okay. So, uh, so as, we, as the light becomes more and more refined, and as we become more, as our DNA opens more and more, and we become more and more aware, we will, as, as a species, arise into the fifth dimension. Now, there are those who say they don't want to change. And this is perfectly fine. A provision has miraculously been made for the free will of all human beings. So there's nothing to worry about there, nothing at all. Okay. But for those of us that really want to experience the magnificence of our souls and the, the talents of our multidimensional awareness, why then, what will happen is that in the fifth dimension we will conceive with, with the help of God, with alignment with the divine will, we will conceive a reality for earth that is far uh, superior to what has been unconsciously playing out through scripts, okay? And to keep in mind, uh, as we await that day, that these scripts, um, 
they are the result of a promise. Uh, uh, probably, um, probably we were taken away, unawares, and we gave away our power to uh, to the leaders that we considered to be running our lives. Okay, and it's not true. Okay, but somehow or other, we have an unconscious like agreement that we will give away our power to create our own reality to someone else. So now, an activation of light to align our soul's creative energy with that of God. Spirit to team. Cancel all promises to give away my power of creation to beings other than God and Source. Align my will and heart and mind with the will and heart and mind of God and let us together co-create new life on new earth.